Um, Page uh, 718. Um, and if I used uh, x equals 1, so then this should just be 1, 2, and square root 3. Does that make sense? Keep it simple. Right? And then if I took the tan, like, let's say so, ka, toa. Do we got that? Did he start that? He did, okay. So if I start that as so katoa, right? Then that would be sine theta. Let's just call this one theta. Why not? Okay. Sine of theta is equal to the opposite, right? So in this case, sine of 30 is equal to the opposite 1 over 2, right? Over the adjacent, right? I guess I should have wrote sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, and then uh, sine 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. Okay? Whoa! Slow your roll. It's a new day. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is teach you about the inverse sine. The inverse cosine. And so... Huh? There's a mark of 30. Is that what that is? The inverse? No. 30 degrees. 30 degrees. And so the inverse sine is really simple. Sine inverse of one half is equal to 30 degrees. What? Is that easy or what? Is that easy? I'm taking these two things and I'm reversing them. I'm inversing them. That's it. If I wanted to do the cosine, ka, right? So cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, right? Well, that would mean that cosine of 30. is equal to the adjacent square root 3 what the fuck? over the hypotenuse 2. Yo. Why did you get that to do that? Nope. Yeah? So, that means that cosine inverse uh, the square root of 3 over 2 is equal to 30 degrees. And we could continue doing this for tangent. And then we could do it for cosecant, right? Secant and cotangent. And hey, we could even do it for all the 60 degrees, right? And that's all by hand. Can you do it by hand? Absolutely. Could you do this one by hand? Absolutely. Okay? Because you would have to think one angle is opposite of the square root of 3. One angle is opposite, and in this case it would be phi, right? Sine phi would equal opposite over hypotenuse, right? Wouldn't that just be 
sine of 60 degrees would equal opposite square root of 3 over 2. And what is this? Square root of 3 over 2. So wouldn't that, wouldn't the inverse of sine square root of 3 over 2, wouldn't that just equal 60 degrees? So doesn't this just equal 60 degrees? Yes. Now, you guys get a calculator. So you don't even have to do that. You can actually plug on your calculator. Okay. Oops, I put sine. That's not true. Sorry about that. Sine inverse. big difference. Okay? And then the sine inverse, you'll notice that you have the purple. Okay? And so I have to hit second sine. And that gives me the sine inverse key of Square root of 3. So I'm going to do the square root sign, which is also a second squared sign, right? Square root, second squared, right? Square root 3, end parentheses, divided by 2, end parentheses, and then hit equals 60 degrees. Bam. Hello, problem number 17.